I am completely dressed for a run. I am going to go for like a three or four mile run. And then today is packet pickup for the hot chocolate 15K. So packet pickup is actually, it's about 25, 30 minutes away from where I live. So I am actually going to go get the packet um, and then probably grab lunch while I'm out and then just come home and rest. Um, I was supposed to pick up a shift today, but it got canceled, which I'm happy about because <laughs> I worked, I'm supposed to work Friday and Sunday and I was like, uh, right in between the front and the back of a race. And you know, again, I'm not going out for a PR. This is just a fun race, but I was just like, I don't want to be on my feet for 12 hours till seven o'clock tonight and then wake up at like five in the morning for a race. So, um, I'm kind of glad it got canceled secretly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go down and get my packet after this run and then I'm going to get everything laid out for the hot chocolate foot 15 K. And it is out at Arrowhead Stadium, which is where the course will start and finish, which is where the Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas City Royals play. Um, so that's also quite a distance from me, about 30 to 40 minutes away from my house. So there'll be a little bit of travel involved. Nothing like 8 to you know 12 hours like I do for Ironman's you know, drives away. But um, it'll be a little bit farther away than most races. But um, it's supposed to be like a high of 55 tomorrow. So I think it's supposed to be in like the low 30s and then warming up into the 40s for the race. So weather is looking great and I'm excited that I'm feeling better um, just for my cold and then my leg is also feeling better, knock on wood, but it seems like everything's lining up and I'm going to get a good 9.3 miles in tomorrow for my race and then um, really pick up even more training for Dopey. I can't believe it's eight weeks away. This person's gotta be a runner. It's got a Kansas and Missouri. It says run. <laughs> you must have found it. It says run well. That's gotta be it for you guys. And it looks like a small store. How cute is that? Sparkles in Kansas City. It's like really small. But we got our bibs. And then I'm just gonna head out there and get our like goodie bags. All the shoes. Oh my goodness. And I like this one. It's about 1080. Mocha. Hot chocolate bags, and I'll show you. There's my uh, husband's, and then there's mine. I'm the white one, and he's the black one. And I'm gonna go take them home and dig out all the good stuff. Well, guys, I am back from packet pickup for the hot chocolate 15k and 5k. And I got this hat, I'll kind of show you the different things that I got, but really not much like swag unexpected, but it's good swag, so I'll show you. Um, so instead of a shirt, they actually give you a uh, full zip jacket, and then it's all state hot chocolate, so it's kind of crooked and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> but um, it looks like a really nice jacket, and um, it's like fleece lined as well. So hey, nice jacket. And then they added in a, a hat that says chocolate on it as well, and then in the back it says all state hot chocolate 15k and 5k. And then we actually got these hand warmers as well, which is nice because it's still, like I said, it will be in the 30s in the morning. And then my bib, which you get like your finishers mug at the end with all the like chocolate and food in it. And then, um, let's see. I think that's it. Yeah, so there's my chip, so I don't have like an actual like chip band. But that is the swag. And I don't know anything about these, but I'm going to assume just like Iron Man Disney stuff is this is where you put... Um, like your clothes like at the starting line or you know right before you go to the starting line since by the time I park and everything I, I don't know I'll probably just take some throwaway clothes and if this works great if it doesn't it doesn't but I don't know it has that kind of run Disney appeal doesn't it hot chocolate yeah I think so but <laughs> um, so I'm gonna leave that down here and then leave my bib down here and then I'll take up my jacket and wash all that but looks like it's a really nice jacket so that's nice to have um, but I'm just gonna go finish up the rest of my day and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, we just got home um, from dinner and Hobby Lobby because my kids wanted to make some crafts. They're very crafty this season. 
and we ended up getting some cheesecloth and some glue and they wanted to make ghosts and I was like why don't we make like the shape of a Christmas tree so <laughs> we're gonna let these dry and then paint them and then they got like stickers for like wreaths so I don't know something how those are all gonna come together but I got some crafts and then I have like a whole nother bag of crafts over here so <laughs> there's that and then you guys are awesome 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 so you guys are sending me things and I got this from Koala Clip and what it is is it's a clip um, that goes into a woman's back of her sports bra to carry her phone. So I got that I'm going to try out and then I also got another package that you guys got me. I'll open it up as well. Um, but that one is specifically for um, hanging your medals which it looks really cool. They showed me some pictures and you guys are absolutely amazing. I. I'm just like lost for words that people want to send me things and that's amazing because I love trying out new things and giving you my opinion and I will give you my honest opinion um, but that is just so cool and yeah I was just like covering my address so if you're wondering why my hand was over everything um, but yeah you guys are awesome so I really really appreciate you guys sending me packages um, I've got all my stuff pretty much laid out for tomorrow my foot is it's not happy this evening so I'm just a little bit careful with it. I've been doing some kind of like stretching and rolling out and then I think I'm actually gonna get just go like soak it up in the bathtub for a little bit. Um, so that might be good. But my son also got a Christmas ornament and I gotta show it to you guys because it's super funny. So he loves Nutella and he found a Christmas ornament. It's Nutella and toast. <laughs> and it's like squishy. So this is the ornament he wants to put on the tree this year. Oh. So yeah, they're just over here hanging out. They're just gonna watch their tablets for a little bit and then I'm gonna go soak my leg a little bit and get ready for the race tomorrow. There is a Barbie leg and a train. Like for kids. <laughs> but I'm gonna use this one instead. Um, I love the Dr. Teal's like Epsom salts. They always have like some sort of essential oil and they smell really good. But this was like a, um, a melatonin. Um, so obviously like sleep and then lavender, which helps you sleep. So all this is good. Um, so I gotta go to bed early because I have to in the morning with the race. And then yeah, it just it smells really good and it just feels good to soak and relax. Like and she doesn't like it. No. She said it burns your skin. So it's it mom. Burns. There's one thing in this house that's mom. I do not like it. it. I do not like it. stadium are literally right next to each other they're right behind me um, and I am closest to Kaufman which is where the Royals play um, but it's really starting to fill up and it's getting busy it's early <laughs> and it's cold I think it's 33 degrees right now but I know it'll warm up and it'll be really nice later on um, but I'm ready to get this race going and to have some fun and yeah I will catch you guys. I'm going to carry my phone with me. So I'll start getting video with my phone now. And I will see you on the flip side when I finish the hot chocolate 15 game. Marshmallow Man. There's Coughlin Studio. Thank you. 
Was a it was a good race I felt good overall still have a little bit of like just nagging aches in my foot which I kind of expected but everything was okay so far we'll see post race how everything is um, like I said it was around the stadium so our uh, major league football and baseball stadiums and what I didn't realize when I signed up was that the 5k is exactly the same as the 15k course but the 15k does it three times so three laps so it was kind of boring, I mean, to be honest. And there were not as many people as I expected. I thought that for a race that basically travels all over the country, that there'd be quite a few more people and it had pretty good swag, you know, good medals, you got a jacket, you get really good post-race food. All that I'm totally satisfied with. Um, but the duration of the race, like by the time I got to like the second lap, like the end of the second lap, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to run this again. No core support, no cheering no food so like I watch Heather Jurgensen's vlogs and you guys can check her out as well um, but she did the Denver hot chocolate race and I actually watched it last night again and I was like oh I can't wait for the Swedish fish and the M&Ms and just all this different kind of food there was nothing and thank goodness guys I don't know where it is but I brought just at the last minute I was like I'll bring my honey stinger bites just in case you know like I don't, that doesn't sound good, like chocolate or something, which it always does, but I wasn't sure. So I was like, I'll just bring what I always use. Thank God I did. I wouldn't have had anything for 9.3 miles. There was zero food and one water place. So, I mean, three miles with no water, basically, till you hit the next one, because it was always at the same uh, part of the course. So that part I was really disappointed with was the food and the course support and just the actual course mapping. It was, it was kind of lame, but I love my chocolate. Um, it's really good. It's really rich. It's really, really um, amazing. It's chocolate, right? But it's really good. Um, I'm going to drink my hot chocolate on my way home. As I was running, I saw that the highway I need to take to go home is closed, so I'm going to have to find an alternate route. But I'll check in with you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, I was at work today and so was my husband and my daughter was very sick, didn't feel good. Kind of had a feeling, you know, cause she said her head hurt, but you know, they say their head and tummies hurt all the time. Didn't think really anything of it. I thought she'll be fine once she gets to school, see her friends. And then the nurse calls and says she has 103 fever. Took her up to the doctor, tested her for the flu. It's negative, but she does have a pretty bad ear infection. So she's at home sick from school. And I came home early from work. I just picked up Max. Um, but yeah, you just gotta love cold and flu season because it definitely just changed the whole day today. It is gorgeous. It is November and it is 68 degrees outside. And I am just loving it. I'm actually gonna open up the windows. It's so weird. Last week, literally seven days ago, I was like in sweatpants, sweatshirt, like we had the fireplace on. It was just so stinking cold. And then now it's like warm and I'm like wanting to open up the windows just kind of get the like smell out of here. You know what I mean? If you got kids, it's just the vomit smell. <laughs> so it's out. But you guys have been so awesome and you sent me a few things. I got some stuff from Janji, which I'll show you guys. So this is one of the running apparel brands and he asked if he could send me some stuff. And this stuff looks so nice. So I'm going to try out some pants that he gave me and then a shirt. And this really cool hat with a zipper on top of it. And again, I'll give you guys like a review. I'll probably do like my favorites for Christmas or things that I recommend. So another thing I want to review and also show you guys is this koala clip. So it works for females mostly because we can slip this with our cell phone in it, like on the top part, and we can actually insert our cell phone and it just rides on the back of like our sports bra with this, what they call it is the koala clip. So I'm going to try that out as well. I was actually really, really excited about this because I saw really good reviews about it and I saw it in the uh, recent runner, Running World magazine. So I'm going to try that one out as well. 
And then one other thing is this acrylic kind of plastic metal display. So you guys know with Run Disney, we get a lot of metals and these metals take up a lot of room. But this is actually really cool because it's clear. So it kind of like hides in with almost your like home decor and you can still display your metals without it being like, hello, Run Disney. Obviously the metals are Run Disney, but this rack is really cool. So I'm going to actually put up this rack. It's from Pretty Display. And it looks pretty cool. They were on Amazon, and I think this will be really cool to display my medals and you know from Iron Man to Run Disney. And I'm gonna try putting it up, and I'll show you guys how it looks. Well, guys, that is going to be the week for me. So I hope you guys had fun following along with me. You guys can see that no matter what kind of training it is, whether it's Iron Man, Run Disney, just general fitness something always gets in the way it's always something so i am so happy that you guys joined along with me i am going to continue my training for run disney dopey 2020 um i can't even say it i'm like 2020 how can that already be here but i'm going to continue the training knock on wood things are going good i think my injury is like really pretty much out the door knock on wood let me okay let me knock on some because i'm really nervous <laughs> but i think everything's going well with my foot and i've been really able to increase my miles especially with the hot chocolate 15k that you guys saw this week so i'm really excited about that but i hope you all have a great evening and i will see you all next week as training continues and i will definitely get some of these reviews in for you so you guys can also see how they are because is the season right so lots of runners and triathlete gifts that i can bring to you so do not forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you all next week good night guys